Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and are having a wonderful break. So today I'm showing you all the cases that I have for my S8 Plus and some of my iPhone cases. And yeah, I'll start off with the one that I'm currently using and then show you guys everything else. So the case that I currently have on is from a company, a brand called Ideal of Sweden. I purchased it from Argos through eBay. It was £16. And then the pop socket I got from eBay as well, from a, an American seller. And this is actually an official pop socket, so hopefully it will actually last. And yeah, it doesn't cover the buttons. And it covers the top and some of the bottom. And it's like a marble colour. And it just says Ideal Sweden there in gold. I think it's so stunning and I think that it goes really well together. The next case I have is this one which I was previously using and this is a kind of geometric grid case which I got off eBay. It's a hard plastic. So this case I got the and the pop socket I got off eBay but it's not an official one so it's starting to fade here and so I got the one that I'm using now. But yeah, I think this and this goes really well together. So yeah, the case was like £6 and the pop socket was about £4 and I really love it. And this is my hench case. <laughs> it's camo and it is so tough. If you drop your phone a lot, this is literally perfect for you. So yeah, I got that off Amazon. I think it was about £8. And yeah. It's definitely bulkier than I thought it would be, but it would definitely protect your phone. The next case I have is this Goyard inspired case. This is not an official Goyard case. I would love an official Goyard case, but they don't really do one for the S8 Plus. They only really do it for iPhone. So I went on Redbubble and I saw that they took the same pattern basically. And it's a hard plastic case rather than the like textured cases that Goyard do. It protects the top, your buttons are cut out and the bottom is cut out. So. Yeah, I actually got a refund on this because it didn't arrive on time and the seller was suspended. So we didn't think it was going to arrive and then it arrived so I technically got this for free. <laughs> I haven't used it yet but yeah, I don't know if... I don't know how I feel about it yet because it's not official and I look like a big. The next one is this Athletic Department NYC Boxing Academy Training Session Bone Case I got off Amazon. It's navy blue and gold and it's a hard plastic again. And the only problem is that if you look at it from certain angles, like when the light hits, you can see all the scratches. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I love the case, but I don't like the scratches, so I've stopped using it. But it's a cute case. If you watched my previous What's On My Phone video, or the most recent one, and if you haven't, I'll link it below. This is the case that I was using. This was my very first case, and I love it. It's pink, and it's very smooth. I got it from a little market store outside Clapham Junction Station and it was £10. So, yep, I love that. And my final S8 Plus case is this clear one. If you watched my S7 Edge video, it's basically that same like Gorilla Clear case. Everything is covered. Well, obviously not the holes, but the buttons are covered. So it's very protective. And yeah, I really like it. If you like the simple. So moving on to other phones. This I had for my S7 Edge and I absolutely love this case. It's not official, but it's Michael Kors and it's a wallet case. So you can put like cards in here, stuff in here, your phone goes here and it snaps shut. Comes with this little cutie thing to hold it. And it's pink and it has that gold. And I love this case so much. The only problem is I don't have this stupid phone anymore, so it obviously doesn't fit. But I don't want to throw it away. I'm probably going to try and sell it because, I don't know, I just think it's so beautiful. So moving on to my iPhone, I have this Hello Darling case. I loved the gold that like, shines. It's not very protective and, yeah. It was £12, which I think is a bit of a bump. I got this from H&M, it was so bloody cheap, it was £1 on the sale 
So I thought, why not? It was quite cute, but the only thing is, this is so itchy. When your hand is there, it's so bloody itchy. I don't really use it, but it's cute. And then this one, my bestie got for me uh, last year. The only problem is, it's like, something happened here. I don't know what. It has like a hole. But it says, I'm Wonder Woman, what's your superpower? And it has the Wonder Woman logo, and I love it because I love this kind of pink. So it was literally the perfect case. But I don't want to damage it anymore, so I haven't been using it. And then finally, the actual case that I have on my S, sorry, my iPhone 6S is this UAG case. And I think it's so, oh, there she is. It's so easy to press the buttons, it protects everything. And the, because my phone is rose gold, it's a clear case. But because my phone is rose gold, I think it looks so pretty. So yeah, this is my go-to case. That I've, I've, it was £20 uh, off eBay. I've had this case for over a year and I just, I love it so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Have a happy, happy new year and I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!